Welcome back to your Five Minute Football Fix. I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Ellis's Wednesday, December 28th, 2011. The Pro Bowl rosters are out, and tongues, Jeffrey, they are a wagon. Tongues are a wagon, and we're going to take a look at the 2011 season. You're in review, and we're going to ask, we asked our social community, what's the big surprise for you? And we'll share ours. The biggest NFL story. That's I've got a good one. But maybe later. I think mine's better. <laughs> but maybe later. The good people of Cincinnati, Jeffrey, have heard us. They heard us. And the Bengals have sold out. Well, they haven't, they haven't sold, sold out. out. They didn't sell out. Way. They're we'll, good. They're we'll showing. Get we'll get there. But right now, Pro Bowl 2012, uh, the rosters Honolulu, have been announced. Honolulu, Hawaii. Hawaii. Are we coming to Hawaii this year? We can't. We're, We're going to be in, in Indianapolis. Indianapolis. That's right. How do you do? I, I, for people, I don't understand. I, I, people who cover the NFL, how do you cover the Pro Bowl and the Super Bowl. You're supposed you, you have a whole advanced team in two well, places. That's exactly what they do. They are a huge network outlet and they send one crew to the Pro Bowl. We're two guys. Crew. We can't be in two we places cannot. at once. We cannot. So We're we've going chosen Indy. we've chosen the Super Bowl. Although it'll be a, ni- a lot nicer in Honolulu, I imagine yes, than Indianapolis. Pretty sure Just it will. weather-wise. Here's the deal though. Some people are uh confused at some of the players that have made it, some of the players that did not make it. Um but you know what? T Sizzle Terrell Suggs of the Baltimore Ravens he's like, "Ravens aren't playing in the Pro Bowl cuz we going to be in the Super Bowl." got a long way to go before that. I would actually go for the Pro Bowl because you get incentives. You get a free trip for you and your family. <laughs> and if you, for some reason, don't make the Super Bowl, it's a good backup. When you can't beat teams like the Seahawks and the San Diego Chargers. Uh, they didn't lose the Rams, did they? Yeah. No, they didn't. That was the Saints. Oh, sorry, the Saints lost the Rams. Um, yeah, you, you I don't know. Just... Play the game, and we'll see how it goes. Now, here's the snub list that I'm just offended no, by. These are, these are players that got in. I wanted yeah. to do my snub list and get Cam Newton in there because oh, that's just egregious. That is a snub list. Yeah, yeah. It's egregious. Well, I think Romo sh- or Cam Newton should have got in before Eli Manning. <sighs> Eli Manning. And then Phillip Rivers, if you have any dignity, take the money that probably comes <sighs> as a little bonus. But be ashamed of yourself for making the Pro Bowl well, this year. You know, other players on that list besides Phillip Rivers is Antonio Gates, Greg Jennings, <laughs> B.J. Rogers. People are like, how do these guys make the Pro Bowl? Because it's a glorified popularity contest. Yeah, and you know what? I used to win popularity contests, so I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm down with it, dog. <laughs> what a weenie. <laughs> Pretty weenie. All right. We went out to Facebook and Twitter, and we asked you, our fans, what was the biggest NFL story of 2011 before we get to yours let's give it to jeff i says cam newton cam love that kid he came out we saw him there in new york city at the draft and he says i'm more than an nfl player i'm an icon and we shook our heads (laughs) and we went on tv and said shame on you don't be mr hollywood be mr football and wow, he's definitely Mr. football. He proved Woo! us wrong. Cam he's setting good records that aren't even for rookies anymore. He's now setting all time quarterback records. Hats off. Good stuff there for Cam Newton. My story, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, this oh. youngery team uh, that was just, you know, supposed to be fantastic this year after winning 10 games last year, narrowly missing the playoffs. This team was going to be back. They were youngery. They were going to be fun, young and hungry, and they were going to do great things. And then Jeffrey, who is holding his head in shame here. You cut me deep, Shrek. <laughs> you cut me deep. <laughs> he decided to take the Bucks as his team. They started 4-2. and two. They were looking good, but then have dropped eight straight games. They're now 4-10. and ten. They're not they're youngry. Not... They're yuckery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that young and yucky? It's just gross, <laughs> and you guys are gross. You make me mad. All right, so there. Now the fans take their biggest story of 2011, the San Francisco 49ers. That's right. This wow. team right now is 12-3 and three with the Rams coming up. They're most likely going to be 13-3. and three. And what's amazing, Jeff, they've done it with the same players, basically, that they had last year. They did a wee bit of pruning here with the trimmers and took out a couple of guys that they felt like weren't the best influence in the locker room. Right. Jim Harbaugh comes over from Stanford with one of his coordinators from Stanford. He's taking the same guys and built something completely well, amazing. Well, I tell you what, he's given Alex Smith confidence, and, the, and yes. the fans, I think, are right on this one. The San Francisco 49ers, I'm not sure anybody thought – the Niners would be this good. Now it's time for some canned applause for the Cincinnati <laughs> Bengals faithful. 
There you go. Well, the Bengal fans. We called them out yesterday. We sure did. And it is now official just hours before they were going to get blacked out. Uh, the Cincinnati Bengals were able to sell out their second home game of the season. To a divisional rival. And to, but Ravens fans don't travel nearly as well as Steelers but fans. But I'm pretty sure so this there, one will, counts. there will be some Ravens fans. Don't there. care. This game's going to sell out. Cincinnati start. Get that foot in the right direction. Be moving towards so success. congratulations to the Bengals and the Bengals fans. We hope it's a good game. And Go maybe, and just maybe, they'll win a game for you. I'm Stephen Miranda. Jeff Ellis. For your five-minute football fix. Out. Out.